If you would like to create a website for your business, but you're not quite sure where to start, then this is the video series for you. You will learn where to buy a domain name, how to sign up for web hosting and how to set up WordPress, how to create a simple logo using free software, and then we'll go through actually creating your website step by step. And that includes setting up a contact form and connecting an email marketing service. By the end of this video series, you will have a gorgeous looking website that you can be extremely proud of. Let's dive in. Hi, I'm Christine and I'll be your instructor for this course on creating your business website in only a weekend. By the end of this course, you'll understand the basic structure of a business website, what you'll need to prepare in order to get up and running quickly, the tech we recommend, and then I'll show you how to actually build a website and do it using the recommended tech. So what is a business website? When you want to use your website to make an income or promote your business via a website, then that website can be considered a business website. But there's one thing that really makes a business website, and that is conversions. So if you're new to marketing, you might be wondering, well, what is a conversion? A conversion is an action taken by a website visitor that meets a marketing goal. So for example, if you are selling an online course on your website, and you've got a sales page for that course where clicking a button takes customers through a checkout process and then someone buys your course, well, that is one conversion. And you can look at the sales page for that course, keep track of the number of people who viewed that page and also the number of people who have actually purchased the course. And then you can figure out a conversion rate. So if 100 people viewed the page and 15 of them purchased the course, then your conversion rate is 15%. Now, what if you aren't selling a product on your website, but you hope to eventually, and right now you're just building your email list? Well, getting email list signups are considered a conversion event as well. Or let's say you want people to submit a form indicating interest in one of your services. That would also be a conversion event. Now, here is the problem. Most websites do a terrible job at converting website visitors. The site itself might look pretty good, but if visitors aren't taking action, if they aren't buying products, if they are not joining your email list, then your business isn't making as much money as it could. And so that is why here at Thrive Themes, our focus is helping you to get conversions. And in this course, you'll learn how to set up a specific type of conversion focused website one that generates email leads and grows your email list. Now, why is it important to grow your email list? Very quickly, email is an incredibly effective marketing tool. So if you were to post to social media, hey, check out my latest product, here's the link, but of course, maybe phrase it a little more nicely, <laughs> and also send that same message to your email list, typically, email gets a higher click-through rate and also a higher conversion rate. So that is why so many online marketers are constantly trying to get you to join their email list. They know that email marketing is hugely effective. So we are going to be covering a lot in this course and in the interest of time and making sure that you get results, which is actually to get your website up and running, we're going to run through things fairly quickly and to the point. If there's anything that you want to learn more about, we have tons of resources for you. We've got blog posts, we have our YouTube channel, we have other Thrive University courses. We also have our knowledge base. So don't hesitate to search those resources for more in-depth information. But there is one thing that I would like to caution you against, and that is thinking that you have to know how everything works before you start working on your website. The truth is there is so much information out there about the best marketing strategy, the best colors to use, the best lead magnet to create. It's very easy to get stuck Googling things for days on end instead of doing. So I would like to encourage you to focus on rapid implementation. So what is rapid implementation? It just means focusing on creating a version of your website that you are reasonably comfortable with even though it is not absolute perfection. And for the perfectionists out there, this might feel soul crushing, but I promise you it's 100% okay. And 
from a marketing perspective, it really shouldn't be perfect. And that's because as marketers, our job is to constantly be testing. So you'll put something out into the world and we call that shipping. Then you'll test, you'll test to see what worked and what didn't, and you'll get real world feedback. Upon looking at your test results, you'll make some kind of improvement and then you'll ship again and the cycle continues. So over time, you'll find out what improvements are worth making. You'll refine your website. You'll come up with better calls to action. You'll figure out which headline or layout gets more conversions. And that is how you'll eventually have the best website you can possibly have. But in the beginning, the goal is to create something that is good enough that you feel comfortable publishing it in a shorter amount of time. It's much more valuable than striving to create something perfect, but that takes weeks or takes months for you to create. So if you're on board with me and if you're ready to create a conversion focused website, let's move on to the next lesson.